Nitroglycerin patch test. 200 joules in three, two, one. I didn't see any explosions. I didn't see any arcing, anything at all. No. Nope. Like I said, this is real life, real results. In this case, an awful lot of nothing. We didn't get any explosion at 200 joules. Let's ramp it up to 360. Let's give it the maximum power. But cranking the power to the max. No explosion, guys. Even putting the paddles right on the patch. It arced, it sparked, it didn't ignite. Well, I think one of the problems here is it's just not going to arc to the plastic. It's just not going to do anything there. And there is an old nitroglycerin patch that, that has sort of an aluminum in the plastic. Maybe that would arc from the spark. More conductivity would definitely give it a higher likelihood of arcing. Should be easy to get a couple of those, no? Actually, Tori, that's a no. Aluminum-backed nitroglycerin patches were phased out in the 1980s. So Carrie's making some of her own. And this is see, conductive? That's what I was going to let you find out for me. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Now, I'm sure that stun gun Tori's using comes with a warning. That is cool. Look at that. Something along the lines of, not a toy. Look at that Bernie. Use with caution. Look, I wrote my name. Keep out of reach of children. Ah! <laughs> oh, Tori, are we going to ever have an episode where you don't hurt yourself? I didn't think it was gonna hurt me. <laughs> Thought I had that one under control. <laughs> also not under control is the weather. Oh great, the water so level has rant. risen. Outside and inside the bunker, the big wet continues. It doesn't do a lot of good to have rubber mats when they're submerged in water. A bit of electricity and a lot of moisture. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, try not to stand in the water. What is it? The first day of rain we get for the entire year is going to be on the day that we're using high explosives and electricity. Woo! 2,000 volts. Now, does anyone else find this somewhat alarming? Raincoats, volumes of voltage, and a welter of water. And then it's arcing from the, the screw to the wood. Uh, okay. Stop. Tori's on hairdressing duty to keep it dry enough to prevent shorting. Well, that's the theory. I got water pouring down my back. Folks, it goes without saying, never, ever, ever try this at home. Somebody want to get a two by four just in case they need to knock us apart? Perhaps the least lethal thing to happen now would be if Carrie's homemade foil back patches exploded. Three, two, one. You see a spark or anything? Nope. You see an explosion? No. Just like the modern plastic patches, maximum voltage, foil side up, or foil side down. No reaction. Even putting the paddles ridiculously close causes no kaboom. It arced right over that patch, and I didn't see an explosion. No explosion. I don't think that the concentration of the nitroglycerin is high enough to actually get any sort of explosion. I mean, that's it. The, this myth is, is, is going down. The myth may be going down, but it's not over yet. Because when it comes to the Mythbusters and explosions, no one goes home disappointed. We're going to blow that nitro patch up. So you bet we are, buddy. Adam and Jamie are getting wrapped up in their quest to beat speed camera myths. Can someone unwrap me? Turn off the camera and help me get out of this thing. So far, it seems there's no way to get one over on the super sensitive speed slayer. But just how responsive are they? It's time to test viewer myth number three. You know, I heard once that those speed cameras are so sensitive that they'll pick up a bird flying past them and take a picture of it. You know, I hate to play devil's advocate on this, but I can't see it working. It just, I think a bird is just too tiny to be picked up by the radar. We should get some train birds and fly them through the path. Okay, and maybe a really fast train bird. One, make that two, really fast.